Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha and fueled by StarTron. Get in there, Kevin. Do you want me to do this one? Yep. You got it? I got it. You got it. This is not a dolphin. No, it's a dolphin. It looks like a little white. I thought it was a white. Kind of looked like a sail, didn't it? It looked like it a sail. Been take your clicker off. Are we in? There he is. You guys got the dredges? Uh, yeah, the dredges are up. All right, go ahead and. Uh, Pull all the squids in and everything. We just got the one line in here. You're good, Cap. Hey, get those shotgun, please. Uh, I got it, Cap. Make sure you don't get tangled in the other one. Turn the, the clicker one? off. The long. Peter, you mean? Yeah. Can you pull in the bowling pins on the other side? No. Sorry about it. Just do what you're doing. We're going to clear it. There we go. Shotgun's in. Why, nice and steady, bud. Make sure to level line with your thumb. No, he's doing it. He's got it. I think he's starting to like these reels here, Rich. I think he's liking he's them. got a good fish on one now. Not too fast on him. I don't want to lose this puppy. He's gaining. He's good. He's gaining? OK, Rich. There he is jumping there he out is. there, guys. Hey, let's get him while he's on top real fast, Peter. Keep reeling, bud. Reel, reel, reel. Yeah, but he's taking line. No, you're good, you're good. Just keep reeling, Peter. I'm going to go get him. Look at oh, him he's jumping. What Can a you nice see what fish. it is? Is it a white or a, a sail? I, I can't tell just yet. Looks it looks like a little a bigger than a sail. It had some girth to him. Hopefully, it's a white. It looks like a sail. At that first jump, kind of looked Are like a sail. Is he going too fast? No. Good. I'm going. No, those reels have nice yeah. picked up. They're quick. Nice, fast reel. Yeah, they got a really fast retrieve. You're doing good, Rich. Nice to watch the boat backing down on a fish. It feels good, man. It feels good. Pointy in when he goes forward, by the way. Take it easy on them transmissions, babe. <laughs> Don't break my boat. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is he doing? Look at that nice sail. Keep rolling, Peter. Keep rolling, Peter. Look at him up top right there. What a nice fish. Hey, it's only it's only 80 pounds, so be nice and light on the leader, but we're going to get it real quick. Slow down. Slow, slow. Reel down. Get the leader real quick, Peter. He's going to come up jumping away from the boat. Give him the leader. Tell me if you're going to let him go again. Yeah, nice little sailfish. Look at this nice fish. Oh, it's really a marlin. Look at that nice seal. Look at that puppy. Easy oh. with him, Kevin. Conservation. We're just going to get the hook out. Oh, that was another cool bite, though. Good work. Way to go, bud! Nice job, Peter. Go, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Only a mama could love that mouth. Woo! Bring it home to Snapple! The Bahamas is a special place to the family of Captain Rick Murphy, especially Fraser's Hog K. Rick's grandfather built a house there, and it's been a place of refuge and relaxation for the entire Murphy family for generations. And as you can imagine, it's also a great base to fish from. Fraser's Hog K sits in the Berry Island chain, and anyone can easily fish the deep abyss to the south of the island or fish the shallows to the north. It's just the perfect place to hunt all kinds of species. And for these reasons, Gregor and Peter Dornow of Starbright couldn't resist a trip out to test the waters. 
If you've watched the last couple of seasons of Sportsman's Adventures, you'll know that the Star Bright has been guided by Captain Rick to fishing spots around Andros and Sail K. But this time, it's Captain Ridge Murphy at the helm of the 66-foot Viking to make Gregor's wish of landing his first marlin come true. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rodan. Set it. Forget it. Catch more fish. Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. Bahio. Sky above, sea below. Pen. Let the battle begin. And Startron. Start, run, store with Startron. Gotcha. You feel like bigger fish. Yeah, they kind of look like it too. Get the shotgun, somebody. Oh, this feels like a big boy. We got some nice mines. That's a nicer fish there, bud. Uh, oh, yeah, nice mahis. Hey, we got friends with him. He's got friends. Get some spinning rods. Get a spinning rod. Oh, Kev, there's a nice one right there, Dylan, right there, yeah. Nice fish, guys. There's another one with them, though. Welcome, Dylan. That's it. Nice fish. You want them? Hey, Oh, look at that color. Oh, watch the camera. Nice one. Nice. All right, make up your mind, Vic. Ow! Ow! I'm sorry. Ow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the mahi slap. Uh, I'm sorry. Others? Oh, nice Somebody fish. Somebody want Peter. this fish in the rod holder? Hey, Peter, see if that guy wants to take some pictures of our fish. Peter, on this side. Hey, look at that out there. Oh, that's He's me. jumping. You better start cranking instead of talking, boy. Here, come get this rod. You got another? Yeah, this one's for you. Go ahead, keep Here. cranking. No, keep cranking. Here, come get no, this. No, keep cranking, boy. I want you to do it. Come on, you got your belt. Rick, you can hang out. We got school now. Get him in. Yeah, I just wanted to keep him out of the teasers. Nice fish, Peter. Yeah, that is a nice fish. Good work, Dylan. There's your fish right there. Way out there. We were wondering where the mahi are. We found them. Yeah, we definitely found them, that's for sure. What are we going to do with all these mahis? Feed the island. Nice mahi. He doesn't want to turn, nice this there. puppy. He doesn't want to turn. How you liking those reels, Peter? Yeah, these are nice. Those big spinning reels you like. Yeah, nice fish. Come come to this side. You guys are going to probably switch We'll get side. him to this way, Kev. That Even big battle. fish, go with him in case he can make a run. No, we got him. Here comes our gap. Here comes our gap. Woo! Nice mahi right here. Gap here. Of my rod. There you go. Am I clear? I can't see. Look at this nice fish. Let me just cut this so it's out of the way. Nice fish here. Look at this nice That's fish. A baby, huh? Look, look at that. On the look with this. Over there, Gregor. You see it? Yeah, look oh, at yeah. that. Somebody hit him. Really look at that baby it. right there. Parasite. Nice, Mark. Yeah. Boy. These are nice fish. Look at him on the surface. Nice job, Ridge. Greg, where are you at? Right over there. See him? Oh, yeah. Yours took some line, huh? Good thing you got that reel that cranks in, what is that, 60, 70 inches per crank? Good lord. Nice fish. What a bunch of beautiful fish. Bridge, do you see anything behind that one? Uh, not yet. All right. It's kind of far. Catching monster fish. This is just awesome. Yeah, the fish here are nice. I nice. mean, Andros has always been one of those islands that just amazed me. I mean, to think you're within sight of the shoreline, Beautiful weather, marlin, sailfish, and big bonky. Come on. Put some heat some on that thing. Make him jump, Gregor. Look at that nice jump. There we go. Rod's oh. got a lot of tip, but it had a lot of backbone in it, huh? That's 10 carnage. Yeah, it's a nice rod, though. Nice action. I like him. You know, those are the same rods we use for our kite fish and stuff, and we just put 30-pound diamond on there, and now we're using them for our trolling. Yeah, it's perfect. It's a perfect little setup. Yep. 
Nice little nice ball. Little ball. Mm -hmm. Nice little ball. He just playing it. Trying to stick that big old head down. Oh, these fish are getting ball. messed up, man. You see all these little scars on them and everything? Oh, my God. Now, you yeah, see man. how you present the fish to the gas man in the right way? perfect. That's how you do it. You That's how you do it. You just set them up. I was a little worried him gaffing my big fish, but he's good. <laughs> well, I didn't want to get him. Hey, I taught him everything he knows. Hey, but you know what? It's in the boat, and it's going to be in the box. I think we need to nice put him work. on ice. Nice job. You oh, guys look at those great. colors changing. I know. Look how he's blue on one side and white on the other. Look at these nice mahi. We're going to have some good dinner again tonight. Yeah. I mean, just the colors on this fish. And let me unclip this. Hold that gap if you don't mind. I got the gap. Thank you. Oh, my legs. Oh, oh yeah, my you like goodness. that mahi flat, don't you? Look at this. Now we can go give him a nice wash. You get that hook? No, we're going to give him the leader. We'll take care right. of this in a little bit. Nice job doing your Look fish. Look at that color. It's beautiful. Oh, come here, baby. Give me that, give me that. Not the face. Look at that nice fish. Wow. Look at those. Look at that color. Look, barely hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Dylan did a great job. Take you the hook did a great out job. now. Ridge did a great Take job. Take the hook. It's right there. Yeah, watch the gaff. We got plenty. There hooks. you go. Right. Just fell right out. All right, you got him, Cap? Yep. Nice job. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, not that side. We're going to put him up front. Look at these nice fish, Dylan. Is that the big one? Yeah. No, mine was bigger. <laughs> Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Fenwick, Feel Everything, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing. Book your trip today at murphyslawsportfishing.com. Island Lures, Tournament Tackle, Discover Crystal River, Florida, and Diamond Fishing Products. Our reputation is on the line. The Bahamian Berry Islands are made up of many little K's. Each one has its own unique story. Amongst all these K's, Big Whale K has a history that seems like it should be in a fiction novel. And since Whale K is a quick hop over, the crew took a day trip with our own Bahamian native, Rocky. Rocky has known the Murphy family for generations and continues to care for the family house. So Rocky, when we first talked about putting the show together, Rick was telling us some of the history of the island mm -hmm. and how the lady who developed it yeah. had built schools and, and medical facilities and whatnot. And you were just telling us that you were actually born on this island then, mm -hmm. huh? And that would have been 1942. Yeah. But then moved off island after that. Your parents worked here? Yeah, my, my parents would wake up. My father, Lawrence, uh, he used to wake up for the World War I. A little well. Now, we like that multi generation. You know, obviously, Ridge works with his dad, I work with mine. So it's fun to see that the heritage kind of gets handed down. I read you're what, fourth generation on? Fourth generation. The berries? And Rocky Rocky has had a rum drink with my great grandpa, with my grandpa, my dad and me, and just keep on going. Well, you better hurry up then. <laughs> no, I don't know about, about all that. Murphy. <laughs> I don't know about all that right now, People but. We'll be able to drink rum by the time that kids. <laughs> we might have to sneak it through or something. <laughs> it's a little frowned upon. <laughs> Big Whale K was one of the first inhabited settlements in the Berry Islands and became extremely popular when Joe Carstairs self-exiled there. Joe was a London-born heiress to the Standard Oil fortune and a professional speedboat racer. She was once called the fastest woman on water. After moving to Whale K from London, she set out to completely transform the 36 square mile island. The lighthouse was rebuilt, a power plant, radio station, a small hospital, and a schoolhouse was also built. Roads were paved, and roundabouts were built that you can still see today. Big Whale K quickly became a bustling community of over 200 people that strived for self-reliance. Her trophy room, that was built in the 1940s, was one of the more interesting structures on the K. 
This building has a rotunda style architecture, which today is only a shell of what it was. Joe Carstairs led a very interesting life with her grand parties, unapologetic sexuality, and speedboat titles. But the most interesting by far was the portion of life she lived in the Bahamas for 40 years. But really, I mean, you know, we spend our whole lives in the water and we come here for the fishing. Yeah. And you sometimes forget what goes on on land and how cool it can be. Now, that's one of my favorite parts about coming to all these islands, whether it's you know, up north or even down south, all the way down into San Sal, is just getting the experience of one, going to an island, and then two, exploring that place while you're even there. You know, because you can't fish every day. You can, but there's days that the weather gets bad and you get to go walk around and look at ruins or lighthouses or whatever and talk to cool people like Rocky. And well, plus that's when you're out there trolling, about. you can point to the island and tell people what's up there and some of the history. Exactly. And that's always, you know, really, it's, it's not just the fishing. It's all about the adventure, really. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands. Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. The American Fishing Tackle Company. Any fish, any water. Heroes on the water. Paddle, fish, heel. And the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. Get everything in! Get everything in! I'm getting down to the backing! Look at the back man jumping! Down to the backing! Get everything in, guys! Get everything Watch in, guys! Line. Get the squids in, please! What about the dredges? Dredges are in? Just stay nice and tight. All right, let's go get them. Stay on. Stay on. You tight, Greg? Oh, yeah. He's pulling. Hey. He's pulling? Yeah. Awesome. He just started pulling. That's good. Hey, go ahead and get him sized up for the Black Magic. It looks like it might be up and down. Yeah, he's going down. Just stay nice and tight. No herky-jerky. That hook just needs to stay driven. Nice job, guys. Way to grind it out today. Let's make it count. Talk to me, Greg. We're just... He's just holding on right now. Just stay nice and I'm tight, I'm slowly please. gaining. Slow gain? Yep. Slow gain. Nice. Hey, get that, um, Dylan, get that, that long out of there, please. Let's get everything in, and that way we don't have to worry about anything. That fish is going to come up here in a little bit, but no. right now he's kind of down. Stay nice and tight, please. It might be too low. Yeah, I don't like it that low. Greg, you just want to sit down in that harness when he's tight on it, okay? Just, you keep your feet out in front of you. That's good? Got him! He just caught the fish! Look at that. Walk him over. Yeah. Is that your first one? The water, baby! <laughs> hey, get the lure back. Reach down there, get the lure. Hey, Kev. Kev, what do you guys want to do? I'm ready to go. Hold on, put. Hold on, can I hold grab on, him, Kev? Kev, hold on, I want to get over there. Let me touch him, come to this side. Oh! 
Oh, come here, baby. Hi, my friend. Hi, my friend. Oh, he's gorgeous. Yes, sir. Yeah, look at that. All right, you ready? That's what we came all the way here for, guys. See you, boo boo. Nice. I have never been so happy to hear we got the wind on. Woo. Hey. Congratulations. That's You're your next. Best one. You're next. Nice shot. Hey. Thank you. First blue marlin, baby. First marlin Hell ever. Yeah. First marlin ever. That fight was stupid. Right was pulling in, going right away, good. reeling it up. You got to jump in. Yeah, you're going for You have swim. to jump in, because you're not going in in the, in the marina. You have to. Hi, you're going to think him coming in the door. Watch me We're come in the door. We're going to get you in that door, but we gotta break, you can't break tradition. That's your first one, and All I right, can't man. let you go in that marina. All right, open that door. Get your ass in the water, boy. Jump. Hey, get Jump. that off. <laughs> First blue marlin, baby. I love it. I love it. And keeping with tradition, Gregor flies the flag, letting everyone know that his wish has come true. And a perfect ending to another sportsman's adventure. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.